yeah, we have micro and small businesses get the opportunities to showcase their products and services to a large crowd of potential customers in one location. It is believed that Igbo culture dates back to the biblical ages, stamping her roots from biblical patriarchs, Eri, son of God, son of Jacob, also known as Israel. The Unisic Ojo for Cultural Festival, which was organized by Spine Communications, in partnership with the Students' Union government, availed the university community the togetherness to celebrate one another while being encouraged to be the primary brand ambassadors of UNISIC, as well as achieve the Vision 200 objectives with lots of quality research and infrastructure development as required, in line with the vision of the Vice Chancellor Professor Charles Esimone to have UNISIC amongst the world's top 200 universities. Spine Communications is a brand development and management company whose interest is to deliver the value proposition of partner brands directly to the right customers through maximum publicity as well as boosting sales. As a result of this, the Student Union Government of Unam Diazikwe University, Oka, decided to partner with them to celebrate culture in their first ever Ojo 4 festival. <laughs> Traditional Council, led by the institution's monarch, Mr. Franklin Ezenwebo, kicked off the festival rituals as they were received by the popular Oja music amidst cheers of joy from students. <laughs> As expected in a core Igbo cultural event, the Ojo 4 festival buzzed with students' cultural display, conferment of title, masquerading, wrestling contest, native food, and fashion exhibition, amongst others. <laughs> Lovers of culture and tradition grace the occasion, notable of whom are the managing director, Spine Communications. Dr. Emeka Okeke, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Chief Uchenwara. In line with Professor Simone's Project 200, which is his vision to see Namdi Azikiwe University be one of the 200 in the world, we decided that Spine Communication will partner with Unisic to figure out how to promote the brand, how to attract the right relationships, and how to get them resources so that they can do the things that will make them the best in the world. Uh, I think this is uh, one of the most memorable outfits you know, that I've had here, you know, at Unisic. And what impressed me the most 
is, is how the Sudan Union government have embraced the concept of asset branding. The essence of this is to promote our culture, one, two, to educate and um, empower our, our students to know that their culture is their right, their language is their power. Director of UNICEF Confucius Institute, Professor Yu Zangwa. The Public Relations Officer of the University, Dr. Ima Ojuku, amongst others. It was also a bazaar for the students as many won various gifts from brand partners ranging from rechargeable fans, generator sets, refrigerator, plasma TV, electric kettle, electric iron, chargers, power bank, amongst others, through a raffle draw. Okay, my name is Ogu Anthony Chidima from Enugu State. Okay, Department of Religion and Human Relation. Yeah. Wow, I'm very, very glad. I'm very, very, I didn't know that I'm going to make it. My name is Nech Nyotun Wabunike. From what department? History and International Studies. Okay, so we just know that you just won a generating set. Yes. Know how, do you feel? How, how come the generating set? I feel happy and I feel grateful to the organizers of this, as well as this. I'm grateful for them. I, um, I'm grateful to them. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. How, what's your uh, summary and observation about the... Uh, I think it's a very good thing. At least um, it's a place where the um, the young generations can know more about their culture and and, and, and then to support the Igbo language. <laughs> Words can really express how I feel, but I'm grateful to and thankful to Spine Communication for bringing this down to Namibia School University. It's the first of its kind, and this is actually my first time con competing in an online contest, and I won. So it's really a big deal for me, and I'm happy about it. Ojafo hopes that few years to come, it will become one of the flagship of cultural carnival in southeastern Nigeria. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen.